15.3b quotient rule. The quotient rule says that when there is a fraction underneath the radical, we can split it apart to give us square root a over square root b. This also applies if they're already separated, such as the case if I had the cubed root of two over the cubed root of four. I could put these together as one large cube root of two-fourths. So as you can see, you can go either way. It may be helpful to reduce the fraction first and then the radical second. Let's see this in example one. Here's example one. As you can see, both the numerator and denominator have matching radicals, so we can therefore put it all into one radical as 48 over 150. Now we're able to reduce this fraction. We know that 48 and 150 are both divisible by two, giving us 24 and 75. We then know 24 and 75 are both divisible by three, giving us eight and 25. Eight and 25 are now no longer have common factors. So we can split them back into their own individual radicals, giving us the square root of eight over the square root of 25. We know that the square root of 25 is five, and the eight is actually two to the third, so that gives us two radical two. We have now simplified our problem. Let's look at example two, where we've added some variables. Here's example two. As you can see, there's things that can be reduced before we worry about the radical. So, let's start there. We know that five goes into 20 four times, and that five goes into 225 45 times. Next, let's reduce the x's. We have x to the seventh in the numerator and x to the third in the denominator. That means there's four more in the numerator. So we cross off both and rewrite that there are four more in the numerator. Let's rewrite this so it's clearer. Now that we have reduced everything on the inside, we can now use the quotient rule to split these apart. Now that we have them split apart, we can now pull out anything from each of the radicals possible or simplify the radicals. We know that 45 is really three squared times five. So we can pull out a three and a five will stay in. X to the fourth comes out as X squared. In the denominator, the square root of four is two. This gives us our final answer. Remember, when you are doing problems in which there is a radical and the fraction is inside of the radical, Make sure to reduce the fraction first and the radical second.